Identifying your own face by touch alone might seem easy at first, but it's more complex than it sounds. While we recognize our faces instantly in mirrors or photos, touch relies on a very different sensory system than vision. The question reveals how self-awareness and sensory perception really work. Your sense of touch is processed through somatosensory receptors in the skin, which detect pressure, texture, and shape. These signals are sent to the brain and mapped onto a sensory body map. You are highly familiar with the general layout of your face, where your nose, eyes, mouth, and jaw are located, because you move and feel them every day. This familiarity gives you a strong advantage in recognizing your own facial structure. However, touch lacks the fine detail that vision provides. While you can feel major features like cheekbones or the shape of your nose, it's harder to detect subtle differences such as symmetry, small scars, or proportions. Studies involving blindfolded participants show that people can often identify their own hands or face by touch better than others, but they are not always perfectly accurate. Memory also plays a role. Your brain holds an internal model of your body called the body schema. This model helps you know what belongs to you. When you touch your face, the brain compares what you feel to this internal map, increasing the likelihood of self-recognition. Still, the process is slower and less certain than visual recognition. Emotion and familiarity further influence perception. Because your face is deeply tied to your identity, your brain may assume it's yours when touch information roughly matches expectations. This can lead to confidence, even when accuracy isn't guaranteed. In summary, you could probably identify your own face by touch better than someone else's, but not with absolute certainty. Touch can confirm familiarity, but vision remains the most precise sense for recognizing faces, including your own.